Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Divine Divinity. Jan has just been exploring the Dwarven Village. I think the game is telling me, the player, that there's, there's not really much of a significant interaction we could have with anything here. Although there are a few little hooks here and there, like the, the odd prison beneath the inn, uh, doesn't seem to have any occupants at the moment. Um, these hints that uh, there might be something of significance we can do here later on. Um, but I don't think that part of the plot has been activated yet. So we, we may need to come back this way. Very helpful that we found the teleporter for it. Um, we did buy some ale. I think we, we tried to buy it. Um, I think it might be this bottle here. It's a large earthenware bottle of dwarven ale. That could be it. Um, but our plan for now is to head north. So I'm going to have a look at our map. Uh, that's the quest. Well, here's the map. We want to head up to the marketplace here. And I had kind of, I was curious about what that was the marketplace for because Rivertown seems to be down there and there's an entire dwarven village in the middle here so it doesn't seem to belong to any particular settlement so I wonder if actually this being um, a rural medieval type setting whether that's just a, a um, location conveniently between other settlements um, where people can meet to trade because that's, that's a thing, I think. Um, let's, let's find out. It'd be such a relief to meet a scientist, a doctor, rather than these strange magical healers. Hear ye, hear ye. To all brave and loyal dwarves, our good yeah, king calls you to arms. War is declared on the dastardly elves. Step forward to defend your homeland. Town cry is still going. I don't know if there's been any volunteers since last time. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned before, but if you're just if you hold down the left mouse button and get the mouse far enough away from your character, you can actually run that way as well, as well as uh, pressing R to enter run mode. I'm just going to follow this path north. I think it will take us where we need to go, and hopefully there won't be too much trouble on the way. Okay, let's bank a bit this way. Okay, we're going back north again. This should be good. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you, my name is Caroline. Have you seen a little boy? He's out here somewhere. He's always off getting into trouble, head in the clouds, looking for adventures. <sighs> Normal for boys of his age, I suppose. Um, no, I've seen no children in these parts. I would find him quickly if I were you, Caroline. There are fell creatures abroad. Oh, God. If he is nowhere about here, then he must have strayed up towards the dark cave. I don't like the sound of the dark cave. Oh, please, God, no. Dark cave? I've never heard of it. It is the cave north of the market, a weird and terrible place. People say they've seen things lurking up there. Some people have gone and not returned. My poor little boy. Hello, who's this in the corner here? They don't look friendly. Um, calm yourself. I'll go take a look up that way and I'll bring your boy back if I can. Or, hmm, I can go and look for him, but why should I? Makes a uh, finger rubbing symbol. <laughs> Makes finger rubbing gesture towards person. Uh, ask the local militia to look for him. Mm, I'm, uh, I'm not going to ignore somebody in need, um, as I guess. I'm going for the, the first option. I'll. I'll go have a look myself. No, it's wrong for you to risk yourself on your on our account. I can't ask it of you, as I can give you nothing for a reward. We're so poor, me and my son. No problem. It'll be a pleasure in itself to save the son of such an honest woman. Uh, that's not how I'd phrase it. I don't think that's how Jan would phrase it. Uh, but that's yeah, I'll go for that. So I guess I guess that's a quest now. Divides. I think. Well, I guess we must be right next to the market. Yeah. Well, uh, let's have a look. Uh, that's a, okay. There's a poor citizen there and a signpost. Rivertown Market. Beware of cut Oh, purses. no, that's just confusing. Why are you calling it Rivertown Market? Because that that doesn't go with my uh, uh, my plan at all. 
So, oh, hello, what's this? So I've got lots of markers now. That's the dark cave is really far away. Okay, and I've got Tulsa Dr. Elrath and Merchant's Area has just appeared. Okay, so I must have spotted it. Interesting. Well, let's wander around here. I don't know how much action will be at night time. Oh, there's Caroline again. Okay, so we know we can find Caroline in the market. Oh! I hope they come soon! Preferably very soon. I'm low on almost everything. Okay. Marcus and Mole. And a guard, okay. Well, they look very well to do. Let's, let's see if we can talk to them. Good day, are you interested in buying some of my wares? What do you have to offer me? Alas, my assortment isn't as good as I would wish. The Orc War in the South has caused major problems for the caravans bringing us new goods. There are problems with the caravans, you say? Oh yes, right now I'm desperately awaiting a new delivery of fresh fruit, but the cart is late in arriving. I'm sorry to hear that. You might be able to help me now I come to think of it. If you're heading south in the near future, you could maybe keep an eye out for a cart containing fruit. I'd be very grateful if you could bring me word of it. Um, an easy task, friend. I will do it. Well, that's fair enough. Um, are there things we can buy? Show me what you have. Yeah. Um, ale. A slightly squishy looking tomato. Some dwarven ale. Apple. I still don't really know what the function of food is in the game because I don't think there's a tr track of thirst or hunger. And I don't seem to have a, an effect on health or stamina or mana or anything. So I haven't quite worked that one out yet. Um, Alright, let's talk to Mole. Oh hello there adventurer. Is it really very dangerous outside town? You have no idea. Okay. Um, there's some stuff here which I probably shouldn't steal. It's a new, lovely new guard. Afternoon citizen. Can I help you with anything? What's the word on the street, officer? A lot of people are still very sad about the death of the old duke. He taxed him hard, but he was always using the money to improve things. I'll keep in the roads, building new wells and the like. The new duke has ordered all public works to stop, but he hasn't reduced the tax rates. I can see trouble brewing if that goes on. Thank you for your time, officer. I love to talk about taxes. All right. Well, let's keep wandering. So there's some not very useful things, uh, some citizens, let's just map out this this here marketplace, oh there's some livestock, oh this person, you're a wizard by the looks of you, can you magic food out of thin air, it's a hard world out there, can you help me by sharing any gossip you may have heard? A lot of young girls have gone missing in Vadistus over the last few months. Folk round here believe a group of cultists call themselves the Flagged Sing. That was different to the name the uh, dwarves it had. I steal the girls and force them to commit diabolical acts. I hardly dare to go out these nights lest they grab me. Thanks for your time, my friend. Um, so that was just a citizen, wasn't it? Interesting. So it's, I think there's probably something... Uh, it's very suspicious going on in Vadistus uh, regarding kidnapping. Um, but nobody seems to have quite the right story. Oh, Blacksmith. This might be a good place to go. Hi, are you a name? Jeff! Oh, I think I'm in love. Look at that moustache and that ponytail. Hi, Jeff. Ooh. Um, what can you do for me, sir? Greetings. I am Jeff the Blacksmith. I make the finest weapons in all of Rivertown. What do you have for sale, my good merchant? Let us go to my store. Please follow me. Uh. Okay. Oh. An assignation with Jeff. Okay, I like it. This is. Is this, is this what I think this is? Because you could just have shown me your wares right there, I'm pretty sure. Hi Jeff. Well, you certainly do have a, 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 a lot of, a lot of long sabers. 
Hello again. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale, my good merchant? Okay. Stuff. Stuff I can wield. Possibly. Nice. I, um, I don't know if... So I've kind of... I think I've only got the stats really to wield and like a knife. Um... Really? Um... I don't... Yeah. I need I've only great agility or strength to wield any of these, so... I don't think they're going to be of any use to me, unfortunately. Yeah. I will. It was very nice to meet you, Jeff. Um, shame we don't have anything else to talk about, really. Come back any time. I, I will do, Jeff. I will. Um, love to meet you. Let's see what the sign says. Oh, hello. Who's this? What do you want from me? Speak softly, I beg you. No need to let every guard in town overhire our business, if you catch my meaning. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I have goods to sell. Things you can't find for love nor money anymore. Are you interested? Um, I can say, yes, I am interested, or no, of course I'm not interested in merchandise without a proper pedigree. For all I know, all of this stuff was plundered from honest folk by cutthroat bandits. Get out of my sight and be glad I don't tell the Duke's guards that you're a black marketer. Black marketeer? I'm sorry, but I have no time just now. Um, yes, let me have a look at your wares. I'm feeling pragmatic. We've got empty flasks. Woo, they are... Empty flask. If empty flask were in high demand, I'm uh, an egg. A scorpion trap. I mean, I've got one. I could sell you a scorpion trap for not very much money. Um, yeah, you've got. This does look like random loot that you found. It looks very much like my inventory. Um, that's fine. It's all fine. I don't think I can... I can't really use any of this other stuff, so... I think we're good. Thanks, thanks, uh, mystery person. Trading is so much fun. If you had the resources. Oh, I, don't, I don't like you, person. Tingalf. Not my favourite Galf, that's for sure. Um... Okay, we're just going down here. I don't, I'm not clicking anymore. So this merchant. Good morrow, miss. I'm afraid I don't know your name. Ho, oh, noble one. What's the news today, I say. I'm sorry, but I prefer not to talk to someone of your low social background. Goodbye. Farewell to you. Thank you for your valuable opinions. Rude. Just a rude person. What oh, a nice bench. Can we sit on the bench? No. Um, right, let's probably an equally snotty merchant there. Melville. Oh, uh, I was meaning to talk to Melville. What's beside Melville? What's that? Can't interact with it. Uh, Melville seems like somebody I definitely want to talk to. Uh, me, 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 me. La, 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 la. Me, 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 me. What are you doing, sir? I'm preparing myself for my performance, Dallard. What are you performing? I'm reciting poems. The beautiful poems of Alric Faustbauer. I've not heard of him. Could you give me an example? Oh, I don't know. Uh, perhaps if I gave you ten gold pieces for the pleasure of hearing you? Right then, just give me a second. <clears throat> Excellent. And I say to you that the winds are spoken words. Whispering whispers. Roaring, shouting, a voice from the outer worlds. No matter what race, no matter what species, the winds speak to us. And the sheets get all creasy. Hello, who's this chap? Bravo, bravo, encore, a most excellent performance. 
and it is hard to listen to them, but they are there, the voices of the wind. They guide us through our lives, down the ages, the echoing of the wind, crying, whispering, screaming, weeping, breathing. Very nice. I came out to Kristen Dalius. I feel like I know that name. Let's talk to Kristen Dalius. I can't talk to Kristen Dalius. That's interesting. Are we? We're not still on the. Oh. Okay. Can I interact with the merchant? Oh. Well, that was strange. I lost the ability to interact with them. Well, I would, ooh, I would say Kristen Davies looks like a wizard of some, some sort. I wonder if I read about Kristen Davies in a book. Ah, now I can talk to you. Shan Oliver, spells, scrolls, vials, powerful recipes, rare ingredients, crystal balls. Everything a magic user needs to practice their arts. Come and browse my wares and walk away with a bargain. Greetings, shopkeep. What can you tell me about your fine store? Uh, <clears throat> more than a shopkeeper, I'll have you know. I inherited the place from my late father, blessings upon his soul. In his day, he was a powerful mage and a counsellor favoured by many important people in the land. At first, I was unwilling to take on the burden of running a shop, but once my first day of trading passed, I found I enjoyed it thoroughly, and you get to meet very interesting and often powerful people. Why is the Ducal Army recruiting so many soldiers? Did I, was I aware that the Ducal Army was recruiting so many soldiers? I guess so. Alas, conflicts are suddenly erupting everywhere. We have those damned orcs gathering their armies at the borders, and there's the racial tensions between the elves and the dwarves. Yes, I've heard about that. I fear a major war is on the wind. Do you have any special offers today, by chance? Magique du jour? Um, okay, so this is your... Mm, there's things to charm weapons, there's potions, I don't know what that is, dog's sapphire amulet, plus three to hearing. I See, I don't know what hearing does in this game either, there's lots of interesting stats that I, um, I'm just beginning to understand really, several hours in. Um, nice, so that amulet, I mean these are ridiculously expensive things, but I do have, oh I have a lot of, uh, I don't have a lot of gold, say, but I do have a lot of value in some of the things that I am carrying around. Why am I still carrying around a rake? I don't know. But as long as I'm not overburdened, I suppose it doesn't matter. Um, it was a pleasure doing business with you. I wonder if there's anything else I can um, find out from Kristen Dalius. No, there isn't. Okay, well we know Kristen Dalius is there. I'm going to mark you on my map, I think. Um, okay, so yes, that's added a question there. Uh, flag? Here. I hope I should remember who Kristen Dalius is. When I look at that again. And, um, I wonder if the, uh, oh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you, imagine. I wonder if the poet's still outside. Oh, you know, what? I'll have a look, quick look around the shop first, if I may. Looks like your private quarters, doesn't it? I don't think I uh, need to go in there. Well, it'd be interesting to find out more I about your use that. magical experiments if I could. Oh, those are just like little pillars to mark the entrance to the. Oh, the pirate's gone. Interesting. Okay, let's keep exploring. So we've got to try and find, um, wait, no, hang on, uh, our target objective is to find Dr. Elrath, and Dr. Elrath is already on our map, so let's head there. Um, that'll be what we do next. Um, I'll... I'll go back through if I can. I'll go back through this part of the market to uh, to see more of what's here. So there's 
there's lots of stalls, but there's not many traders. Um, certainly not many traders who are willing to talk to me, which is interesting. Alrighty. Oh, okay. Hello. We might have accidentally found something interesting here. Apothecary. Oh, okay. Potions. Let me pop that on the map. I wonder if this is ostensibly um, a town. I mean, they're calling this the marketplace of Rivertown, which is miles away from the poor section of Rivertown, interspersed with countryside, um, an entire castle, and um, a dwarven village. But this seems to be the most town-like area that I've, I've been to yet. Most well equipped. What's this building here? This might be something useful to know about as well. Oh, it's big. This could be an inn. An inn that I could sleep at, that would be amazing. Um, Alright, so I can see. Uh, it's definitely got an interior because I can see through the windows, but I don't know where the door is. Is it all the apothecary? I guess it could be, couldn't it? Okay, let's have a little peep inside, so I'm curious now. Wow, this this is grand. This is Walker, the apothecary. Hello, Walker. Oh, this does look like an inn as well. Interesting. Or is that just your personal chambers? Yeah, this could just be your, your house, you, um, in which case you have very grand accommodations for a, a shop owner. Hail, come now. Come and browse my wares. I brew the finest potions in the dukedom, and all at very reasonable prices. You seem to have a lot of potions on sale here. Who are you? Uh, something exceptionally rare, not a potion. That is, if you sell such things. Interesting. I wonder what that's getting on to. You seem to have a lot of potions on sale here. Who are you? My name is Walker, an independent apothecary hailing from the south. Not one of those franchise deals. It is well known that if Walker doesn't have it, it's not worth having. Any potion at all? Do you have one that will grant eternal youth? I'm an ambitious lass. How about a cure for hangovers? Uh, I'd like something exceptionally rare, not a potion. That is, if you sell such things. Let's go for eternal youth. I'd love to stay young forever. Would I? Yeah, sure, you can still gain experience and, and look young. Uh, I have a drug that can permanently maintain life, if taken once a week, but it won't stop the ageing process. But in 200 years I'd have aged into being a living skeleton. A senile living skeleton, yes. I don't get many takers on this potion. <laughs> what about the? I want to ask about the other funny things. Um, I'm looking for a specific potion. Oh, I don't get to choose the hangover cure one. Uh, okay, so this just lets me choose. Have I? Is there a feign death? I don't even know what minor. I think I've got a minor shadows, but I'm not really sure what it does. Healing, stamina, magic, magic. I wonder what magic does. Oh, is is that just the man? Yes, yeah, that's the man, isn't it? I was getting confused. Purple elixir. Ooh, if that follows other RPG traditions, that would get. Um, restore both mana and uh, health shadows, poison uh, okay so not interesting well let's see something exceptionally rare let's see what that is Ah, I had such an item but I sold it yesterday it was a golden coin of transportation you flipped it and let it fall to the ground then when you bent to retrieve it and stood up you were in a different place. Alas, I foolishly gave it to a sincere-looking gentleman to examine. Before I could explain its properties and price, he flipped it and vanished. Never mind. His theft has not gone unpunished, for he is no doubt trapped. The coin takes you to two locations, depending on which side the coin falls. Both have no exits. There is a third location, that that allegedly takes you to a cave filled with treasure and a way out. It's unlikely that the thief will reach this place, as the coin must land and come to rest on its edge. Interesting. 
So the two locations, that's a very specific piece of information. So I wonder what that's all about. Is this, have I stumbled onto part of a quest somehow? The, um, so the coin takes you to two locations, but both have no exits. So the only way to use that coin and get out alive is for it to bounce on its edge. That's very strange. I'd say it's more of a curse coin than anything. Well, uh, that wasn't as as uh, exciting as I'd hoped. I think this is just your house, isn't it, Walker? I think the potion trade has has set you up well. Either that or uh, maybe you have a lot of inherited wealth. But these look like your personal quarters. There would definitely be a lot of scope here for anybody who uh, was of the light finger persuasion to uh, to pick up some freebies. Let's skirt around. So I think I need to go east. Let's skirt around this building here, see if we can work out what it is. And then we'll head straight to the doctor's house. Um, okay. No obvious. Uh, can I get in this way? Oh, yeah, I can. I think it's just somebody's house. Whoa, look at those amazingly phallic salt and pepper shakers. I um, I want them, um, but I'm not going to take them. But this is clearly somebody's house, and I don't think the person's in. I don't think they are. Uh, so that's fine. Hello, person's house. Right, Doctor, let's check the map briefly. Uh, we're there. That's the market space and then so yeah just want to keep going off to that looks like there's quite a few buildings along this road actually this is a big marketplace okay we keep going this way and that's caroline right sorry caroline i don't have any news just yet um i think i need to go down a little bit probably There's probably going to be a sign outside the doctor's house, you'd think. Okay. So, nothing here. Okay. Oh, right. So I can't see the entrance to this building. Oh, the music started and then stopped very suddenly. That's a bit suspicious. Um... But I think that building, I think that building is all one property. I think that's Alrath's. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's try and find the door. Once I found the door, um, we'll end it here for this episode. Uh, I'm going to say in here? Is the door? No. Okay, I'm going to go up along this side and just try and angle myself in towards the wall to see if I can get in. The, um, the game has an increasing habit of putting doors in blind walls, which is a bit weird. Oh, here we are. Okay, we're going to pause here and say goodbye for this episode. And I'll see you again shortly for the next episode of Let's Play Divine Divinity. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>